Good morning. It's nice to be together once again, and we've come to worship our God, we've come to pray, and we've come to hear his word. And we are dependent upon the Holy Spirit for the, the blessing and for the effectual results that we desire to come into our lives, especially as we come under the sound and under the influence of God's word. I'm going to read from Psalm 100, the whole psalm. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. The heading in my Bible over this psalm, it's Psalm 100, is praised the Lord's faithfulness. And as we've looked at the life of Jacob, and as we look into our own lives, we have to say great is your faithfulness. God has been so good to us and continues to be so. And that is something really worth celebrating. And in our second hymn, we shall be particularly reminding ourselves of God's faithfulness. But we begin with our first hymn and we're going to join together our hearts and our voices in this lovely hymn, uh, number 11 in Christian hymns, I'll praise my maker while I've breath, and when my voice is lost in death, praise shall employ my nobler powers. My days of praise shall ne'er be past, while life and thought and being last, or immortality endures. This hymn is sung by the Metropolitan Tabernacle Congregation in London. <laughs> 